Hi, hello, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths. Uh, my name is Varakumar. Uh, today we are going to learn about nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Uh, uh, see here uh, the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here a is not equal to 0 is condition or x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a. So these two are the roots. So we have two roots for the quadratic equation. So if you take plus ones, you can get one and minus ones, you can get another one. So here b square minus 4ac, the term which is there in the square root b square minus 4ac is called discriminant. So depending upon the value of b square minus 4ac, we can say the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. So here, if b square minus 4ac greater than 0, that is positive value. The roots are real and distinct. Roots are real and distinct. So if we draw the graph, we can get any one of these three graphs. So here the parabola is intersecting the x-axis at a two distinct points. So the x-coordinates of the points are the roots of the equation, quadratic equation. So we can get any one of these three graphs. So next second one, if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, then roots are real and equal, real and equal. So if we draw the graph, we can get any one of these three graphs. So here the parabola is intersecting the x-axis at exactly one point. The x-coordinates are the roots here. So next, uh, if b square minus 4ac less than 0, there are no real roots. There are no real roots. If we draw the graph, we can get any one of these three. So here the parabola is not at all intersecting the x-axis. Hence, there are no real roots we can say. So here just you have to remember if b square minus 4ac greater than 0 roots are real and distinct. If b square minus 4ac equal to 0 roots are real and equal. If b square minus 4ac less than 0 no real roots. So like this we can see the nature of the given quadratic equation by finding b square minus 4ac value. So now we have to do problems in exercise 5.4. We are going to solve a problem from 5th chapter quadratic equations exercise 5.4 first problem. Uh, see here what he is asking to find as a find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations if real roots exist find them. So there are three bits in the first, uh, first problem this is the uh, first bit. 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. So now we have to uh, find the nature of the roots he is asking and if real roots exist we have to find them. So depending upon the discriminant we can say the nature of the roots. So here b square minus 4ac is called the discriminant. So here uh, we have to find the value of b square minus 4ac. If b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, we can say the roots are real and equal. If b square minus 4ac greater than 0, we can say the roots are real and distinct. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, so there are no real roots. So here he has given 2x square minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. So now we have to compare with uh, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So see here. So comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. Here a is equal to how much? Here a is the x square coefficient. So a is equal to 2. b is x coefficient. So b is equal to minus 3 and c is constant c is equal to 5. So see here a is x square coefficient here x square coefficient is 2 therefore a equal to 2. b is x coefficient here x coefficient is minus 3 therefore b equal to minus 3. c is constant here constant is 5 therefore c equal to 5. 
सो नाउ हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी सो बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी सो बी स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए सी फोर इंटू ए वैल्यू इज टू एंड सी वैल्यू इज हो मच फाइव so just you have to find the value of b square minus 4ac so we have b equal to minus 3 therefore b square is minus 3 whole square minus 4 into a value is 2 and c value is 5 so minus 3 whole square is plus 9 and minus 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 5 is 40 so 9 minus 40 is minus 31 so minus 31 is less than 0 so since b square minus 4ac is less than 0, there are no real roots. There are no real roots for the given quadratic equation. So there are no real roots for the given quadratic equation. So here b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Therefore, there are no real roots. So this is the first bit in the first problem. Next we have to solve second bit. Uh, this is the second bit in the first problem uh, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0 so now you have to compare with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so here a is x square coefficient here x square coefficient is 3 therefore a equal to 3 so b is x coefficient here x coefficient is minus 4 root 3 therefore b is equal to minus 4 root 3 so here c is constant so here constant is 4 uh, c equal to 4 so now we have to find the value of b square minus 4 ac depending upon the value of b square minus 4 ac we can say the nature of the roots so once again we have to recall so if b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 we can say the roots are real and equal if b square minus 4ac greater than 0, we can say the roots are real and distinct. If b square minus 4ac is less than 0, the roots are imaginary. Or simply we can say there are no real roots. So now we have to find b square minus 4ac. So see here. A b square minus 4ac is equal to. So here b equal to minus 4 root 3. So minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 AC 4 into A value is how much 3 into C value is 4 just you have to substitute the values B square B value is minus 4 root 3 so minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a value is 3 into c value is 4 so minus 4 root 3 whole square so here minus 4 root 3 into minus 4 root 3 so we can get 16 into root 3 whole square directly i am writing it is 48 so just you have to understand here minus 4 whole square into root 3 whole square you can write minus 4 whole square is plus 16 root 3 whole square is 3 16 into 3 is 48 so here also 4 into 3 is 12, 12 into 4 is 48. So 48 minus 48 equal to 0. So therefore the roots are real and equal. The roots are real and equal. Therefore the roots are real and equal. So we can find the roots. Find them he is asking. So if b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, therefore the roots are minus b by 2a comma minus b by 2a. So roots equal to value of minus b by 2a. So minus of b value is how much? Minus 4 root 3 divided by 2 into a value is how much? 3. So here also minus of minus 4 root 3 divided by 2 into 3 so here uh, what we get I am writing so just this is the formula you have to remember when we have to use this formula if we get b square minus 4ac equal to 0 we have to use this formula the roots equal to minus b by 2a comma minus b by 2a 
since the roots are real and equal so both are equal here so is equal to here it becomes 4 root 3 by 2 into 3 4 root 3 by 2 into 3 comma 4 root 3 by 2 into 3 so just uh, I have multiplied minus into minus is plus 4 root 3 by 2 into 3 plus 4 root 3 by 2 into 3. Here we can cancel 2 ones and 2 twos. So here also 2 ones and 2 twos. So 2 root 3 by 3 comma 2 root 3 by 3. So uh, these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation. So here 2 root 3 by 3 comma 2 root 3 by 3. So here the roots are real and equal. So this is the second bit in the first two problem. Next we have to solve third bit. Uh, this is the third bit in the first two problem. Uh, see here uh, 2x square minus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. So comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So here a is x square coefficient. So here x square coefficient is 2. Uh, b is x coefficient. Here b x coefficient is minus 6, c is constant, here c is a, a 3. So here we have a equal to 2, b equal to minus 6 and c equal to 3. So again now we have to find the value of b square minus 4ac. So see here what we get. Oh, b square minus 4ac equal to, so b square we have minus 6. So b square is minus 6 whole square minus 4 into a value is 2 into c value is 3. So minus 6 whole square is 36. Here uh, 4 into 2 is 8. 8 into 3 is uh, 24. So 36 minus 24 how much? Here we get uh, 12. b square minus 4 is equal to 12. So greater than 0. So we have b square minus 4ac equal to 12 that is greater than 0. So if b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, the roots are real and distinct. Therefore the roots are, therefore the roots are real and distinct. So we have to find the roots. Therefore roots equal to, so this is the formula we have to use to find the roots minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a so now have to find the you we have to substitute the values minus b value is minus 6 minus of minus 6 plus or minus so b square minus 4ac value we have 12 so directly we can use it the square root 12 divided by 2 into a value is how much 2 into 2 so see here uh, what i have done so just to substitute the values minus b so minus into b value is minus 6 minus of minus 6 plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac so b square minus 4ac equal to 12 so square root 12 by 2 into a 2 into a value is how much 2 so now we have to simplify so here minus into minus plus 6 plus or minus square root 12 divided by 2 into 2 is 4 so again here 6 plus or minus so here minus into minus plus 6 plus or minus root 12 by 2 into 2 is 4 so here root 12 can be written as 2 root 3 root 12 can be written as 2 root 3 by 4 so again root 12 can be written as root 4 into root 3 so root 4 is 2 so here uh, 2 is common we can take 2 as common here if you take 2 as common here 3 plus or minus root 3 divided by 4 so just i have taken 2 as common here 3 plus or minus root 3 divided by 4 so cancel by 2 2 ones and 2 twos once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus so 3 plus root 3 by 2 comma 3 minus root 3 by 2 3 plus root 3 by 2 comma 3 minus root 3 by 2 so the, these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation 3 plus root 3 by 2 comma 3 minus root 3 by 2 
so this is the third bit in the first problem there are totally three bits so we have completed all the three bits so that's all today's class we will meet in the next class with another problem thanks for watching